it's Zena, Warthog Princess, and welcome to another What's in My Bag video. Um, this video is for yesterday's bag. We went to Universal Studios here in Orlando, and um, so I wore Harry Potter, of course. I'm currently in my pajamas because, you know, it was a rest day, so I slept in a little bit. And now I'm just getting the day going. I've got to go get groceries and do some things. But anyway, so fun stuff. We'll get to this bag in a second, but I did also have a lanyard uh, with a zip ID. This is the Gryffindor Vera Bradley lanyard. It's just a regular lanyard, but I really like this one. And um, I think this one was called, uh, I want to call it like House Essentials or something. Uh, but this is the Gryffindor one, and it did come with as a lanyard and zip ID combo. So it did come with a matching lanyard, but I just like this one better. And the ribbon actually matches that, so to me, <laughs> it's perfect. And then I added on there just a little bling of this bag charm. Um, this actually was a keychain that I bought at Universal. And then I blinged it up. I added some glass beads on there in yellow and red and put a clippy on there. So it works really good and it just had my, my basically my park wallet. Had my ID, my park pass, a couple dollars, you know, that kind of stuff. And I just had that around my neck all day. I occasionally used the clip on here to hold my cell phone because I do have that little loop on the bottom. We'll see that in a minute. So I carried my cell phone either on the lanyard, in my back pocket, or in this pocket on the front. This pocket is soft lined, by the way. So it works really well. And there's the little thing I have. It's like clipped on my lanyard. So it can be hands free and definitely secure my phone. But like I said, this pocket is soft lined. It has a nice fleece lining, at least on the back side. The front is not lined, but there you go. All right, so this bag is the Jujube Grab and Go in Harry Potter Flying Keys. I also had a bag charm on here because I thought, you know, it's perfect one because the gold. Um, so this is the chocolate frog keychain. I bought this, I think I bought that on Amazon. And then um, same as the other, I blinged it up with some glass beads. Um, I think this one actually had the clip on it already. But it's a perfect match for the gold and blues of that. And this is really cute. I think I've showed it before, but it has a magnetic opening and there's a little chocolate frog inside. <laughs> I just think it's cute. So anyway, it stayed closed all day. But So that bag charm, the zipper pull has the Harry Potter glasses on one side and then Jujube Harry Potter on the other. So there you go with that. Then I also on the side, I had it clipped on the end. I'll show you where I clipped it on. But So the ends of the bag, because it's a drawstring bag, they, they can come out like that. So I just had it clipped on that loop end on the inside edge. So that is my Vera Bradley Harry Potter eyeglass case, which I had my sunglasses in. And also I had clipped to that my, it's holiday owls, but to me it's kind of Hedwig-like. And I put it on there to use as a coin purse. I didn't actually need it. But it was on there anyway, so I had my owl and my Harry Potter stuff going on. And the rest is just the bag itself. When I left in the morning, I had extra water bottles, just the plastic water bottles in the side pockets, both here and here. And of course, drink a lot of water, gotta stay hydrated. Um, other than that, there's no pockets or anything on the front. There's nothing on the back, but it is water resistant fabric, so very helpful, although thankfully yesterday it did not rain. Today it is raining, but we'll see. So I also had inside my Lug Chuggy. This is the, I think it's um, the larger one. I don't know how many ounces, I don't remember. I wanna say 16 ounce, but anyways, it's the larger one. I always take that with me to the parks so I can keep things cold, or in the case of Universal, I always get two Butterbeer slushies one I drink right away and one I put, by the way, one Butterbeer slushy almost entirely fits in here and I save it for later. We, in fact, yesterday, uh, the kids and I had that um, when we got back to the hotel. So that was kind of fun and they didn't know I had kept extra. So that was a fun surprise. 
All right, but let's look at what's inside here. The rest is just compartmentalized. And a lot of it did not get used. There's the shape of the bag with nothing in it. It's just a rectangular, generic, drawstring backpack. I had my Vera Bradley Home to Hogwarts umbrella. Did not use it for sun nor rain. I had my Disney poncho I did not use. I had a um, water bottle sprayer thing. I didn't use that mostly because it, although it was hot, it wasn't excruciatingly so. And the other reason is I didn't have batteries for it, so I never put water in it. I just carried it around all day, which is silly. I did also have my Little Mermaid fan. I did not use it, but I thought about it a couple times. I just couldn't be bothered to dig it out. All right, so these other bags I have here. I have a cooling towel. It's actually Disney, but I took that with me. I have my small set piece in... Uh, Mischief Managed, I think it was. The Jujube set piece. Inside, this is my tech case. So I have my Vera Bradley charging cord and then I have two Vera Bradley chargers. My phone is lasting quite well, so I don't need it, but my friend's phone is older and dies quickly. So I brought them just in case and none of us actually needed it, so that was great. But it is the perfect size for those things. Then I have a Bumpkin's wet wet dry bag. It's just a single size. It's in golden snitch and I just <laughs> It's silly really but I had just a pair of socks in there because the day before We got rained on a lot and the most miserable part was just having soaking wet squishy feet for the rest of the day So brought extra socks to prevent that then I have this little three pack of bags these are the reusable sandwich bags they are also from bumpkins um, sandwich and snack bags so of course they're Gryffindor this one had some mini M&M bags the little mini fun size snack size packs for the kids they ate those um, at the end of the day so that was perfect and then this one has ginger treats in it the ginger chews in case anybody wanted that but we didn't get into those and then this one, the larger one, which is the sandwich size one, this one I had as my miscellaneous pouch. So it had my vehicle key, some dental floss toothpicks, sunscreen, wipes, uh, microbial wipes. It had some hand sanitizer, which I put in a bag in case it leaked. It didn't, but just in case. I have some hand sanitizer spray as well. I have a nail file, a couple hair ties, I have some hand lotion, some chapstick, and a barrette, and a little just in case meds with like a leaf in there. So we did not get into any of that at all, which was great. All in all, the day just went very smoothly and we had a wonderful time. Today, like I said, was my rest day because it's going to be another busy week and a half. I got like parks like every day from here on out pretty much, almost until next weekend. Um, but my friends all went to Hollywood Studios today. I'm going to Hollywood Studios tomorrow. So I will get all that prepped and set up and I'll come back with another video of tomorrow's bag and what's in it. Hope you're doing great. Um, in case you're wondering, yes, this is the Star Wars Vera Bradley shirt that I just bought the other day because they already had the pants. So there's my pajama pants and you guys always ask like for the fit check. These are the 2XL. I always buy them extra large. They're, they're super baggy. I don't care. I just use the drawstring to tie them up. So it works. But that's it. Bye for now.